Performance Squad. This is Coach Riley here with Riley Performance, and we are back with another video. Now, today's discussion, we're going to be talking about how your mental health is affected by food. Let's get started. So, the reason I want to do this video is because I know it's 2022, and if you guys saw my previous vlog, I talked about how doing the things that need to get done in order to do them versus, you know, putting our feelings into it. And one of the things that helps me along is choosing the foods that actually are gonna give me the best results mentally and physically, right? Now, when we talk about how food affects your mental health, it can either affect it in a good way and a bad way. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about both. So if you guys are familiar with carbs and the different categories of carbs, right? We have our complex carbs and we also have our simple carbs. Now, just to put it in basic terms, I don't wanna to get too much into detail on it, but your simple carbs are gonna be just like your basic sugars, you know, sweets, pastries, things like that that are very digestible, easy to, easy to digest, right? And then your complex carbs are gonna be more so like your vegetables, you know, fruits, different types of fruits, bananas in particular, fruits that are a little harder or take longer to process. Now, the reasoning for me bringing up these two types of carbs is because they both function in different ways and each carb you eat will give you a different result either mentally and physically. But today we're gonna to be talking about the mental aspect of it, right? So, I want you to think about a donut, right? Let's just think about a donut. Krispy Kreme donut, a Dunkin Donuts donut, whatever donuts you like, let's just think about a donut on one side. That's gonna represent our simple carb, right? Easy to uh, digest, you can eat a lot of them. Donuts gonna represent our simple carb. And on the other side, we're gonna have a banana, right? Just a regular fruit, but this is gonna be a complex carb, which means it packs a lot of nutrients, a lot of healthy minerals that are, that are gonna be good for your body, right? Now we have these two items here. We have the donut and we have the banana. Now, just a rhetorical question to ask yourself, for those of you watching this video, which one do you think will give you the best results pre-working out to the gym? I'll give you a moment. Now, if you were smart, you would say the banana. Now, one thing to know about simple carbs, the sugars, the quick sugars, is that the reason why your body is able to digest them so quickly is because it's in the title. They're simple sugars, simple carbs. Now, the problem is, is that we focus too much on these types of carbs, right? And what it does to your brain, too much sugar in the brain will, will cause an overdose. And there's a lot of other deficiencies that are attached to that that I'll get to in later parts of the video. One of the things to note about having too much sugar in the body is that one thing, it causes a clog, clogging of your arteries, right? Your blood sugar is spiked, which means that you are gonna have a lot of fatigue, you'll have a lot of brain fog, you'll have extreme headaches, and this is all a factor in your mental health, choosing, you know, choosing the right foods to eat not even before a workout, but just on a daily basis. Now, the healthy amount of sugar for us to consume a day is about 30 grams. And anything past that, you'll start to notice those symptoms, such as headaches, spiked blood pressure, sweating, nausea, and it goes into a lot. So really, really, really be careful as far as how much sugar you are putting into your body. Now when we talk about the banana, the complex carb, and the reason I say it's a complex carb or the reason why it's called a complex carb is because it consists of multiple nutrients that are in fact healthy for your body and your, your, your health, your, your brain, right? So when we talk about the banana, when we talk about just fruits and vegetables in general, the, the misconception is that we expect these foods that are supposed to be good for us to taste good or we expect them to have a to meet our palate our, our taste buds but the fact of the matter is is that we're not necessarily eating the foods 
the complex carbs for the taste were needed for the function. Now for the banana in particular in this example, bananas are packed with fiber, uh, packed with potassium, and the good thing about fiber is it slows down your digestive rate so you're able to process food more smoothly. And what does that do for your mental health? It allows you to have a clear, it allows you to have clear vision because what tends to happen is, and I'm sure many of you have experienced this, after going to a buffet, let's just say Thanksgiving or Christmas, when a majority of the foods are simple carbs, you know, your mac and cheese, your greens, your ham, your turkey, all of, all of your carbs, you tend to go into what we call a food coma where you can't think, you're extra tired, you're fatigued, you feel that you eat too much, your sugar is high, these are all the effects of what your body is telling you when it's telling you, okay, we're having too many simple carbs. And that's one thing that I've just noticed as far as how, how your mental health is throughout the day. Just look at what you're eating. Look at what you're actually putting into your body. And that's, that's, that's the key. That is the key to having a, a healthy mental health. Now, the next question I would ask you is, when you are choosing these simple carbs over your complex carbs, okay, let's say you do choose the donut over, over the banana when you go to the gym. Now, how effective and how much energy do you think you'll have during that workout, right? Yeah, the donut may taste better. Yeah, it may have more sugar. Yeah, it may be more satisfying. But you get into that workout and you start to feel that in your system. You start to feel that in your stomach. You gotta think about how this is gonna be affecting my body. Because, it, you know, I've had numerous, I can't even count how many situations where when I've worked at the gym, I've seen people come in with boxes of pizza, with wings, with Subway sandwiches, I mean, you name it, just a bunch of, a bunch of unhealthy, simple carbs. And they expect that the workout will help them burn it off but they miss the point of which types of uh, which type of carb will actually help them be effective during the workout. So I just wanted to point that out to you to really make sure that you're understanding the difference of carbs because carbs is just the main category. There are subcategories, there's the simple and the complex. And we wanna make sure that we're gearing our, our, our palate more towards that complex section as far as what's gonna be the best results um, throughout the workout. And just one last thing before I go here, I do want to mention that part of the reason why we go so hard on the nutrition aspect as far as, you know, which carbs to choose, what type of protein to choose, which healthy fats to choose before either just doing a daily task or something like going to the gym. Guys, you got to remember the whole theme behind this is that we are still creating the best version of ourselves. And you have to ask yourself that honestly, when you choose to eat these types of foods, is this going to help me create the best version of myself? Is you know going to the buffet, going to these fast food restaurants, eating all of these simple unhealthy carbs, is this gonna help me transform myself, sculpt myself into the best version I know I can be? And again, that's one thing that I said in my blog um, when, I, when I walked in the park, you guys can check that video out, I said, Sometimes the things that needs to get done, take, take the emotion out of it. Take the emotion out of, okay, yeah, you, you feel like having junk food, but think about, okay, is this really good for me right now? Is this gonna serve, is this gonna get me to that dream body I said I was gonna have, my New Year's resolution or my vision? I, I, I want a six pack by the summertime. Is going out and eating junk food every day, is that linear with that goal or that vision? And so really you need to ask yourself that, when you choose the foods that are, you know, being being digested with your body, because it's not again, it's not only affecting your your body, it's affecting your mind. How do you feel when you have too much sugar in your body? How do you feel when you have too much food in your body? You feel sluggish. You feel low energy. You feel unmotivated, right? And that's the thing here. We are choosing foods, choosing things that are gonna transform ourselves into that best version. So just be more mindful of what you're putting in your body. 
So Performance Squad, I hope that rant and that explanation on the difference has helped you all out. Again, this is 2022. We are staying locked in. We are making our, our goals and our visions intentional. We are taking no for an answer and we are eliminating all excuses. You guys make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I want to thank all my subscribers who've been sticking with me. I have a lot, a lot of great content coming soon for you all today. And I just wanted to give you guys that quick explanation on the nutrition aspect and how it affects your, your mindset, your mentality. You guys make sure to stay locked in and I will see you guys in the next video.